Hey, what's up, y'all? What's popping my three to this video is titled Tati Westbrook exposes Jamie Charlie and Jeffree Star. The truth about their friendship. Girl, what? You still talking? <laughs> you still trying to drag them through the mud? I never liked her, honestly. Whenever that whole drama went on with the gummy bears or whatever, I just feel like she was a victim. Like, just trying to make herself out to be a victim. Let's be clear, not an actual victim. She was just trying to victimize herself. I'm just like, girl, bye, bye. And not to say I was on James Charles or Jeffree Star's side, but girl, bye. <laughs> Let's watch the. You guys, Tati Westbrook is her. talking about bi sister and drama get in. This is something girl, that I really Girl, that was 50 that years ago. I don't know, you guys. We just haven't talked about Tati in probably years. And now she is talking about bi sister. She's talking about the past. This is all on Michelle Vaughn's podcast. Oh, We're gonna shit. Get into all that she has to say about this. Too. Because, I mean, what a trip down the lane. from the past. When sitting down with Michelle Fawn, Tati opened up about her career on YouTube, her personal life, and of course the drama that's gone down that she's been a part of. At one point in the podcast, they're talking about their internet experiences and some of the not-so-great moments with other creators. And in talking about online drama, Tati says in the beginning that she was so naive to think that the beauty community could come with so many opinions and hate. And just thinking, like, it was making up and it was fun how could there be any issues but over the years things got more cutthroat and people were competitive and she says that in the early days of youtube drama it was just kind of like who didn't want to hang out with who at parties but then it obviously became more intense and she ends up talking about james charles wanting to make it clear that when it came to their friendship it wasn't something that she was seeking out and that and how old were they actually wasn't james charles like 18 and she was like in her 30s am i tripping am i tripping i already was like girl what the fuck y'all gotta talk about and be friends about you know i could be totally wrong with these ages though i don't know these people <laughs> and i don't know how old these people are but i i feel like jamie charlie was very young very young he was the one that came to her as she has been criticized in the past over the years for being this older woman trying to befriend a young kid. See, and she was see. trying to say right now that, you know, that's nothing that she originally wanted. It was something that James wanted with her and that's how they oh, became no, friends. Fault. That happened, absolutely. And something that I've never been able to really clear up because I just, I've tried to let the past stay in the past, but hey, we're kind of digging up a bunch of stuff right now. So oh, no, um, I heard that back in the day, you know, I did help James Charles quite a bit. And I think that there's been a big um, misconception that I somehow pursued the relationship with him. He was 17. He didn't have an established okay. channel. He was the one. Who okay, no, bitch, you weird. Don't try to put it. It was him. It was him. He was a child. He was a teenager. He was 17. He was in your 30s. The fuck y'all got to talk about? We ain't talking about shit. I want to talk to you. Good luck, little boy. <laughs> Good luck over there. I wish you the best. I may leave a comment or two on your videos, but we ain't hanging out in person and collabing and doing all this shit. The fuck? Where yeah, your mama? Yeah, pitting up me and my DMs. Um, that's, what I'm, that's what I'm talking about about her. I don't like her because it's, it's always everybody else's fault. It's like, oh, he want, well, I was only friends with him because that's what he wanted. And it's only happened because they did it and they said this and he did this wrong. That's what I'm saying. I just always feel like she was victimizing herself, bro. At what the did first you time do? The Generation Beauty in New York. Oh my gosh! You're in the great room, and he's like, "Oh my gosh, I love your channel. I'm like, let's hang out in LA." And it was him pursuing me. So a lot of people have felt um, that I somehow was pursuing him for a benefit, and that was a weird part of the story. Um, during that time, like my channel was growing, there were a lot of people coming at me that wanted to suddenly be my friend, and that was really bizarre. I still feel like people won't love hearing that, and they'll still be like, you shouldn't have been friends with him because he was Hello. so young, but Hello. you know, this is what Child. she was saying. She ends up talking about the fact that Jeffree Star as well wasn't a friendship that she was originally seeking out herself, and that she actually had a lunch planned with Laura Lee, and Jeffree decided to tag along with that, and that she was actually a little afraid of him at the beginning. She thought that he was scary, but once she met him they yes. actually got along really well she thought really highly of him and you know she just wanted to say that much like james that you know she wasn't seeking this friendship out either something i'll say to his credit we sat down and he had told me that he had heard through the rumor mill um that someone had been spreading some pretty nasty rumors about me and uh that he didn't judge people until he got to know them and then laura was like yeah i heard the same rumor and Manny knows so he about came this. On, this is why I said he's scary. I don't mean like in the sense like, oh my God, I'm afraid of you. I meant like it's scary how 
fake he is <laughs> and how he, he flips on people and tries to make it seem like he's nice but he really races and all this other shit behind the scenes because look you went on this trip you didn't even notice that damn girl you went on this trip or lunch or whatever the fuck she said it was just to be messy <laughs> so i heard some things about you but i'm like what nigga i don't even know you fuck out my face skeleton it's about this and i'm like well i have like five girlfriends that have told me the same story so this person is clearly spreading a lot of lies and that was upsetting, but also like bonded us in that instant. I was like, oh my gosh. Like Y'all bound it through Maybe I had judged that I thought was really scary in front of me was so cool, intelligent, charis charismatic. Like I immediately liked him a lot. So she says that she went on with these friendships and admits that it did blow up in her That's face. And friend. she even added Shane oh. in there, Shane Dawson, into the list of people who tried to pursue her, trying to be oh, friendly with her. Everybody and that wasn't this. someone that she was seeking out. Oh. But she just landed in these friendships. But on the subject of James and Jeffrey and Shane, the bi sister video comes up. And Tati noted that since that infamous birthday dinner that she had, now. where she felt James Charles was being inappropriate with the waiter, she hasn't had a birthday celebrated since. Like, she just isn't about birthdays anymore. Girl, but she says that so at the that time, she felt like die. she really needed to make by sister. She felt it in her that she needed to tell people about James Charles and that it was going to be a video about their friendship breakup. She was letting everybody know why she wasn't going to be associating with him going forward. And she Girl, never she would have thought that it was going to turn into this big, massive you know. YouTube drama moment. But I have a lot of noise in my ear. Um and a lot of powerful people bringing information to me and uh and it happened i was I'm really saying they push you to do it distraught over that very interesting what she just said right there she had a lot of powerful people bringing information to her so it seems like they were trying to bring jamie charlie down and to be fair he probably was on some bullshit and he does seem a little creepy a little off i saw the sex tape <laughs> <laughs> when I said I didn't see it in the last video, that, that caused several people to send me um, information and ew. But, um, yeah, so he's definitely on, on, some, on some shit for sure. But two things can be true. I also think that, you know, she is a perpetual victim and she had people in her ear telling her basically expose him and that's what the fuck she did. was very triggering to me. Um, so maybe you know, I've had to overcome Jamie, some pretty significant trauma in my life, and maybe it triggered he upset somebody. Every part really of me, important. the information that I was hearing, and a lot of people want to say like, "Well, why didn't you go to the police?" Why didn't you? Like, I'm it, if things are of that nature and they're not affecting you directly, you can't. I felt like I needed to cut ties publicly. I didn't like how he was behaving. I was very clear about that. Um, Looking back, were a lot of do things publicly, fed girl. to me that I don't know were true. Yeah. Wow. You know, if you wow. hear that YouTube executives are going to be deplatforming someone, and you should definitely make sure that you keep this your distance yourself? because this is happening and wow. it could take you down too. Like, wow. Yeah, so I that's what like, it really was. Lose a little sleep over that. She you were you were trying to cover your own ass and be like, oh, they okay. They said they about to get rid of you, and clearly that didn't happen. So very shady. Whoever told her that and whatever was going on behind the scenes if this really happened because again look at her she putting the blame on everybody else the executives told me to do this i have people in my ear telling me to expose him so i did like girl how youtube was not happy with her girl even though she had just said that she was hearing YouTube executives were going to possibly be deplatforming James Charles. So it was what? interesting that they were upset at her, you know, that that I first week after. That. Like, YouTube was not happy with me. Like, that, like, oh my God, you know, they were not happy with me. Really? Um, that don't make sense. No, babe, what it was. Saying. Um, Did they tell you to do it or the not? The behind scenes was rough. Um, I do think see. that that has to do with the fact that YouTube did not want to be blamed if something were to have happened with James because of a video that was on their platform that was negatively. That sent a lot of bullying in his way, a lot. Liable for anything because and he was I seventeen, do think that after eighteen. My sister in this entire girl. scandal, that YouTube was trying to implement this whole like you can't harass people online, you can't harass people on our platform, we can't be Sin exposing people in this way. Though I do think that this was just the very beat beginning of youtube drama honestly yeah because things have changed you can expose whoever now <laughs> and they yeah they just gonna let it rock unless you like revealing personal information that shouldn't be online or 
you know, something like that, or unless you tell them people go bully them. But otherwise, if you just want to get your shit off and tell your side of the story, it's like that's the norm now. But fuck out of here, Tati. Does she have anything else to say? Because I'm tired of her. People have the wrong idea about her, but that it's been five years and she just has to let it go. Wow, five years. Was like 10. Since that birthday out. Winner. Um, it feels like a lifetime ago. Do I feel like people Why still have like a 10? lot of that situation know. wrong? Yeah, absolutely. But I also know that I'm not here to to create more damage and I think that some things are better handled in real life and, and I think that's exactly. the one thing so that I wish five years later done is not um, bow to so much fear and and handle things in real life because I was worried for my career. I was kind of in a bad place any which way you spin it. It's crazy to think how much the story of my sister flip-flopped over the years with people being on Tati's side, then going on James' side, and then being anti-Jeffrey and Shane. And I ain't on nobody's side. Fuck them all, all right? <laughs> but Tati, I, I just never felt like she was this victim that everybody else thought she was because everybody was showing her so much support and being like, oh, James, Charles, you devil, you terrible, you horrible, and blah, blah, blah. You know, and I was just like, no. <laughs> I remember watching that video and being like, no. I don't, I, don't, I don't trust this. I don't like it. She seems fake. She seems like she not taking accountability for nothing that she did. I, I just didn't. I didn't like nothing about it. I didn't. Um, so there's that. That's how I feel about her. And lo and behold, five years later, you still talking about it? Why, girl? Why? And I don't care if Michelle Vaughn asked her about it. She could have been like, you know what? That was in the past. Yeah, however, you know, everything played out. That's how it played out. I just want to move forward. I got some great things going on in my life right now. Let's talk about that. There are ways for you to pivot the conversation. So don't say, oh, well, she asked her about it. You ain't got to go into the detail like this. And she's like doubling down on shit and placing more blame on other people. Ugh. <laughs> I don't like her. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you've been watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.